everyone, welcome back. Um, it's been ages since I've filmed. I really, really am a bit overdue for this empties video um, because it's currently nearly mid-June and there's these are a bit empties for May but I've been so so busy I'm back to work now um, after my maternity leave so yeah it's been um, tough to try and squeeze this in and it's not ideal because I and hair needs doing I'm not happy with my makeup today so I really could be doing with not filming today but this is my only opportunity to film having said that welcome to the video um, this is my huge bag of empties here and um, my eyes gonna continue to water throughout the video because it's just playing up today and we're just going to persevere so um what i did get through this month is an oral b 3d white Lux glamorous white toothpaste now this is going to be my new toothpaste of choice i did used to prefer colgate white teeth in 14 days but they changed the formula of that unfortunately and this one i've been getting on with my teeth are nowhere near as white as it used to be in fact, in my eyes, they are completely stained now since I got my new coffee machine. But the choice is to not drink coffee or to have and have white teeth or drink coffee. And unfortunately, I'm a coffee lover, so these will have to be white enough. I mean, they probably look quite white on camera, but it's my lighting, really. This is the Wilco, Wilco Soak It Up Bath Cream. Um, I love this. It's really multi-purpose. I buy that because I like to add essential oils to my bath, actually over there, and um, that just gives you a nice sort of non-offensive, non-competing scent to add essential oils into your bath, but get bubbles. Um, Johnson's Extra Sensitive Baby Wipes, yes, I would repurchase. All of those. Cousins Care X Complete Moisture Plus Hand Wash. Yes, I would definitely purchase that. I've got another one on the go at the minute um, just because um, I do suffer with dermatitis and I'm struggling at the minute to use fragrance products that have been for a while. This is the Yankee Candle Wedding Day. So my mum got me and my husband this for our wedding day. So it's taken me three years to get through that candle. I won't chuck that one too far. And um, I wouldn't repurchase the scent. I really enjoyed it and I'm glad, but I wouldn't want to... I don't know, I just feel like that was for my wedding day and I've done that now and plus the scent is very um, delicate and, you know, plain. It's like it's similar to the one that smells like uh, freshly washed cotton or laundry. And this is the Fruits Rhubarb and Vanilla Fragrance Explosion Hand Wash by Wilco's. Unfortunately, I, I can't buy, re -buy, buy that at the minute just because my hands are so sensitive, but I just love the scent of that. And if I hadn't got dermatitis, that would be my holy grail. Um, holy grail. This is another one of the same uh, baby wipes. Um, if you didn't already know this, the reason I include those, I do use them on my baby, but it's because I take my makeup off with them. This is a cuticle revitalizer um, by uh, Pretty Perfect. It was like a nail oil pen, essentially useless, and I wouldn't repurchase that. It does look used up, but I think it possibly leaked because when I went and got it out the drawer, it was empty. And I just much prefer to make up my own oil pens just using jojoba oil. And that was a tip from um, Christine from the uh, oh, what's her channel called? Na Simply Nailogical. I love. She's so funny. And this is L'Oreal Elvive Extraordinary Oil Curl Nourishment Cleansing Conditioner. Um, so I use this instead of shampoo and I really enjoyed it. As soon as that goes on through for £10, I'll be repurchasing that. Same goes for this one. It's L'Oreal LV Colour Protect Low Shampoo. Um, so yeah, both of those worked really, really well on my hair and in place of shampoo. Um, this is Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. I wouldn't repurchase that. It's quite pricey and I just don't, didn't think much of it. Um, this is Johnson's Baby Shampoo. Um, I love it. I love the smell of my baby's head when I've washed his hair with that. So yes, I would repurchase that. Garnier Olia 4.62 in Dark Garnet. It's the colour I've got on my hair now. Yes, I would repurchase that. I've got one on backup. I've got Snow Angel Bath Melt. Um, I didn't think much of that one. It made the water glittery, um, but yeah, it wasn't one of my favourites. I don't think I'd repurchase that. Um, six, Little Angels Extra Sensitive Wipes. Yeah, I would repurchase those. And L'Oreal Elvive Colour Protect. This is like a, a mask. It's from the same range as the um, low sul the sulfate free shampoo I've showed you, but I didn't like that. Um, I used to enjoy it, and then I realised it was sort of like suffocating my hair, and so um, yeah, I'm not going to be repairing that. 
this is a very disgusting looking old beauty blender um, I wouldn't repurchase that because I just don't feel like there's enough of a difference between the Real Techniques one and that one to justify the cost difference but I'm really glad I tried it and thank you Sita for buying that for me you're such a lovely star um, this is a Charles Worthington Shine Salon Finish All Over Gloss Spray this was in a project pan um, yeah I would repurchase that I did enjoy it and the Essence Lash Princess yes 100% I love this mascara it lasts such a long time it's so cheap and it's so good and it's so much better than a, um, a lot of high-end mascaras that I've tried um, this is my Avon Glazeware um, in Darling Pink and that was in a project pan I'm smiling because it took me a year and a half to finish that and uh, no I wouldn't repurchase it just because I have such feelings on the struggle of using it for my project pan um, but the product itself is, is fine this is simple kind skin purifying cleansing lotion <clears throat> it's a full bottle I wouldn't repurchase it just because I have really no need for cleanser um, and that went off before I could finish it but having said that if I did feel like I needed had a need for a cream cleanser I would go for that um, it's lovely I, I, the um, facial wash that goes with that is, is my holy grail um, I usually just take my eye makeup off and then wash my face and that's fine although <clears throat> I might have to resort to a cleanser moving forwards because I've started using Estee Lauder Double Wear and that just doesn't come off, uh, come off as easily as other foundations do. This is the Naturally Radiant Br Brightening Day Cream by Superdrug with, and this is SPF 15. Um, I wouldn't repurchase that because I have moved on now and started to invest more in skincare but if I ended up on a skincare budget I would repurchase that, I really enjoy it. Um, this is the Head and Shoulders Classic Clean. Um, my husband uses that, and yes, I'm pretty sure he repurchased it. This is the Declure Harmony Calm Gel Cream, relaxing milky gel cream for eyes. I enjoyed it, I really did, but I'm not sure I would repurchase it because I do really, really like Clinique products. It's, I really um, like they're all about eyes, and I feel like they're similar, but I prefer the all about eyes. Um, this is Clinique Rinse Off Foaming Cleanser. I cut the packaging open to get the last bit out and it was a sample size. I wouldn't repurchase that. I really didn't like it and it's it's not often, it's very rare that I find something from Clinique I don't like and I didn't like that. Um, it's very drying and I didn't feel like my skin was actually clean but it felt really dry and tight. It felt like it was stripping my skin, uh, skin of everything and if I got it near my eyes, which is almost impossible not to do when you're using something you know with water on your face it just stung really bad this is the conditioner by Paul Mitchell it's a leave-in moisturizer and conditioner this used to be my holy grail I used to just live and die by this um, but uh, yeah I would repurchase it yeah it's a funny blue color though it's a bit odd um, this is Vosine Kids Detangling Defense Spray these both are almost full um, no I wouldn't repurchase these um, I'm going to chuck them away without using them because the smell of them is so bad me and Scarlett just cannot take it anymore um, and this is the Sanctuary Body Scrub this again was in a project pan no I wouldn't repurchase that it's rubbish compared to Soap and Glory Scrubs it's more like a polish but even then it just really doesn't do much at all for your skin and also I got through a Oh, I'd say I got through there's a bit left but the bristles are too splayed for me to use this anymore and um, yeah you can probably see that this is a CCO nail gel and um, in the shade 40521 <laughs> so yeah um, it's like a hot chili sort of a color I enjoyed it but I wouldn't repurchase that mainly because that particular the shades with the shimmer in them from CCO I find aren't as long-lasting as the cream finish ones um, so yeah that's everything um, that's a surprisingly short video considering I've um, really, really not had time to film it. But yes, um, keep your eye on this space because I'm going to have my Project Pan and Pan That Palette updates coming shortly. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Bye.